Hey guys, welcome back to Guns, Gear, and Life. Um, as I said in previous videos, I was uh, waiting on a few things um, to come in the mail that I had ordered for my everyday carry. And those items have come in. I have carried with them. So now I am going to present a quick review on the Bravo Concealment Holster and the G-Code Active Shooter's Belt. Um, I also have another item that I have added to my everyday carry. Um, this is an item, though, I've added a new gun. It's going to be a summer carry item when I'm wearing shorts or um, I usually wear, like, Old Navy shorts with the pockets and carrying my Glock 19 with my TLR light on it is not always the most convenient. Um, one of the things I found out and figured out is with my new setup, um, I've taken up more real estate as far as concealing. Um, there's a lot of people, and I know there is a lot of people, that do like to open carry. Um, and I have no problem with that. Um, it's personal choice and personal preference. Um, but I am one who does not open carry strictly for the reason that I am carrying a firearm for my protection and for the protection of my family. And I do not want would-be bad guys, you know, being in a gas station, somebody comes in to rob it, being in a grocery store, somebody comes in to hold it up, um, or just your everyday nutcase um, when you're out and about, I do not want people to know I'm carrying a firearm due to the fact that I feel that that takes away from my way to defend myself and my effectiveness in defending myself. Um, you know, in those situations, you are always going to be the last to know of an attack. Um, and you are going to be in an ambush situation. So my feeling is if my gun is concealed and people don't know I have it, I have a viable counter ambush to protect myself, my family, and, you know, innocent people that are around me. Um, anyways, that being said, Let's get on with the review. Um, first item I'm going to review will be the belt. Um, and the belt is by G-Code. Um, it's, you know, it's a pretty good belt. I, I've worn it now for a little over a month, maybe two months. It is a comfortable belt. Um, and it's a belt that I put on that, you know, it's not... One of the things I was concerned concerned about with this style carry belt is that it would make it known I would be able to feel myself carrying and I would be able to feel the belt. Um, my biggest thing it would carry in and things I've carried in the past, I used to carry a PT-111 in a on your six holster I'd put that thing on my belt inside my waistband and I would forget it was there um, I wouldn't be able to feel it even with my Glock 19 with a few other holsters I've had I have been able to carry it and not have it be too cumbersome or uncomfortable or whatever. One of the things I was worried about with the belt was that it would be uncomfortable. That it would hold the gun tighter to my side. Therefore, you know, I could feel it in my waist. Um, I do have, you know, 
I'm not a small guy. I'm a bigger guy. I do have some love handles. So that was one of my concerns. The belt, however, does not do that. Uh, the belt I give for price, for use, for um, its effectiveness and doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, it is solid. There is no, there is no give in this thing whatsoever. It holds my gun solid. Um, so, I give it a 10 out of 10 for usability, um, it is effective. Um, I've never carried a gun belt. I've never used a gun belt until this one. This is my first gun belt. Um, I've always used just, you know, your normal leather belt. Um, after a while, those things just start to break down, though, and it becomes an issue, and it becomes, you know... You're always pulling on your pants, pulling on your belt after your belt has been used for a carry for a while. In the same position, your belt starts to, you know, break down and lose any rigidity that it had. So, I like the belt. One of the issues I did have with G-Code, though, is it took nine weeks to get me this belt. Nine weeks for a belt. It is not like I ordered a custom holster, you know, that they had to custom make. It's a belt with a little black anodized buckle. This is all it is. I waited nine weeks for this, and I was not happy. Now, when it finally came, they threw some stickers in, and they threw a morale patch, a few morale patches in there, and a few odds and ends things saying sorry and all that, which is great. But I still did wait nine weeks. Um, I went to a gun show, and I could have bought one for the same price at the gun show and had it that day. But I had to wait nine weeks for this belt. The fact that they were apologetic, it helps. It makes me feel a little better. It makes me feel like they do care. But it's a little ridiculous that I had to wait nine weeks. Okay, so that's the... And here's one of the morale patches they sent me. Um, they sent me some stickers I put on the back of my iPad, one on the back of my laptop. Um, I do not put stickers on my vehicles um, saying anything any gun brands. I also shoot archery. I've shot archery since I was a little kid and I'm a bow hunter. Um, but I do not put any of that on my vehicle strictly for the fact that I don't want them, people to see it and say, oh, this guy's into guns or, oh, this guy's into bows. Let's break into his car because there's a good chance there might be something of value in there. Um, but G-Code as a business... I give them a 7 out of 10. They did keep me up. They did send me periodic emails saying, hey, we haven't forgot about you. We're working on it. We're behind. So in that sense, it's good that they keep their customers informed on what's going on, where the order is and all that. But just strictly the time that it takes to get a stupid belt, it's a little ridiculous. All right. Now, moving on. I got this holster. This is a Bravo Concealment holster. Here, let's clear the gun so I don't get no uh, backlash videos saying I didn't clear it. The gun is clear. The gun is clear. There is nothing in it. Um, there's nothing in the in the magazine. That yeah, just sucks. Too bright. Anyways, you have to take my word for it. It is clear. There is nothing in it. Um, 
Uh, this is a Glock 19. It's got the TLR1 HL on it. Um, this is my preferred carry gun in the winters or when I am wearing, you know, jackets, hoodies, stuff to help conceal what I'm wearing. Um, as far as the holster, it's a good holster. This was one of their quick ship items. Um, I purchased the gun and I didn't have a holster for it, so I needed a holster for it um, after I purchased the light um, so that I could carry it um, better. The one thing, the only thing I will say about this holster that I struggle with, and I still struggle with it, I, you know, I, <coughs> I did a little adjustment to the hooks. And the attachment points to make it a little bit easier for me to get on. Like I said, I'm a heavier guy. I have I have love handles. Um, so I do struggle to get it on once in a while. Um, I wear it at uh, about five o'clock, four or five o'clock. Um, but it's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty comfortable holster. It is kind of big. It's kind of bulky. In the winter, it's not a big deal because I got a hoodie on, I got a winter jacket on, and it is much easier to conceal. Um, I give this holster about an 8 out of 10. The clips, I'm not a big fan of these clips. Holsters I've had in the past have had the, the single clip in the middle. Um, the wider, about the 2 inch, inch and a half, 2 inch clip in the middle, just a single one. Um, I find those easier to put on and take off, you know, if I'm out driving around and I go somewhere where I am not allowed to carry inside and it's like a federal deal where I could get in trouble, post office, whatever it may be, I want to be able to just quick reach down, grab that holster off my hip, pull it out of my pants, put it in my center console, lock it, and when I come back out, I can just quick grab it slap it back into place and go on my way um so these these clips they work the one thing i will say about these clips that is nice about these clips is they hold that gun especially with my belt they hold that gun solid in place my gun does not move around at all if you are new to carrying and you want a nice solid platform to carry from a belt and a holster with this style clip you can't go wrong and if you're not a little bigger guy like me even better but yeah good holster you know bravo concealment got it to me i think i had this within like six days five days they got it to me fast um i bought my tack light from amazon.com and ordered that first then i ordered this holster and they both showed up at the same time so it was kind of nice and i will say that bravo concealments customer service and their jumping out of it i mean i got the email that this had shipped that following morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. So, kudos to them for being on top of their shit. Alright. Last but not least, my new, I have added a new carry firearm to my summer EDC. Um, like I said, my Glock 19 and my holster they take up a lot of real estate, and it makes it a little harder to conceal in the summer. Um, so I have um, looked, been looking for a smaller carry gun for the summer when I'm wearing shorts, when I'm you know just out running around, something light. I can throw it in my pocket. I can throw it in my waistband and be done with it. And it doesn't, 
show as much under a light t-shirt. That firearm is a Taurus, Taurus 709 Slim. Was not my first choice, but I got it dirt cheap. I got this thing for 125 bucks through a friend. Um, I will show you. This gun is also empty. It is also unchambered. Um, so it is clear of any ammunition. What can I say about this gun? It's not the most comfortable to hold. Um, but at that price, you know, can't go wrong. One thing I do know about Taurus is when you shoot them, you got to clean them. They do not function well from what I've read. Um, my other Taurus I had, my PT-111, that gun ran like a champ. Never had an issue with it. Um, so I'm hoping this is the same way. Um, like I said, this is not going to be a a gun that I carry non-stop. This is not going to be my permanent everyday carry gun. This is going to be when I'm wearing lighter clothes and need to be able to conceal it quickly um, and conceal it good. Um, right now, I, I do have a holster on order from onyour6.com. They make good holsters. They're cheap. They're $30, $35. They're not fancy. They don't come in all different configurations with tack lights and all that. It is just your basic everyday working man holster that are very functional and very, very good quality for the amount of money you're, you know, you're investing in that holster. Right now, I'm just carrying in one of these uh, one of these sticky holsters that you know it works good. I put it in my you know my side leg pocket of my shorts, and it holds it in there perfectly fine. When I do go to pull out, you know it, it's fairly tacky on the outside, so it stays in my pocket when I take the gun out. So, not the greatest holster in the world, but hey. In a pinch, I didn't plan on buying this gun. I just happened to be talking to a friend while I was at his house um, having a barbecue. And he said, oh, yeah, hey, I got a gun. You want to buy it? And I bought it. Um, with a eye roll from the wife, I bought it. So, anyways, that is it for today. Um, like and comment, subscribe. I will be doing more videos. I have kind of had some stuff going on, so I have not been able to record and put content up as much as I would like, but hopefully things will calm down around the Mason household and I will be able to do so a little bit more frequent. Anyways, have a good day. Stay safe. Say thank you to a cop. See you later.